Welcome to Boulder, Colorado and a Rocky Mountain High. Folsom Field, one of the most beautiful settings in sports. Ralphie is out there looking to run over somebody and the Buffaloes are fired up and ready today. And a rivalry like this is what makes college football great. Yeah, the tradition and the history, but right here, right now, there's great intensity. This is why these guys came to these schools to play in games like this. As we'll see the number six team in the country, the Utah Utes, taking on the eighth-ranked team, the Colorado Buffaloes. For EA Sports College Football, the Utes will kick it away to start us off. Fields it inside the five-yard line. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. So the Colorado Buffaloes offense going to get the chance to start this game off. Here we go, Kirk. All the emotion in this stadium. Which side is going to handle that better today? Chris, we had a chance to visit both these teams. And one of the things that we saw, the clocks ticking down all year for this game, this day. Now they get their chance. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. And the Buffaloes looking to crank up the tempo a bit. Off an RPO, the quarterback looks to his right. Defense surrounds him. Just a short gain on that completion. There's a challenging third and eight now in his opening possession. Dropping back. Look at the throw for the first down. Receiver makes the catch. Tackled at the 32. That's enough for a first down. Tackle made, but a strong arm throw by the senior quarterback. And you just continue to see the chemistry between these two. And they told us yesterday in our production meeting, they spent hours and hours of working and developing that chemistry and that rhythm by throwing together throughout those summer months. And man, it's starting to really pay off. He's become his security blanket for the quarterback, and especially on third down, get him the ball. Tackled pretty quickly, but that is a decent gain on the throw. No huddle here for the offense. The quarterback's got it on the option. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. The Buffaloes will line up to kick it away. On the return, it's Stanley. And the returner is tackled by this punt coverage team. So the Utes offense gets their first crack now. This wide receiver, Kirk, is so dynamic. It puts a lot of pressure on the corners. And frankly, the safeties are going to have to get involved in coverage today, right? Yeah, the free safety is going to be tempted here to make plays. But this quarterback has a favorite target. He comes up with most of the 50-50 balls. They expect to see plenty of double coverage and help from this free safety today. Christina, the spread error over the years has always grown offensively, but what I've been always impressed with the defenses that really build their defense to play in space still have an ability to be sound at the line of scrimmage and defend a running game. It's exactly what we saw right there. It's early, but this crowd is fired up. Listen to this noise here. This is going to be tough for the visitors today. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. And the Utes will bring their punt team onto the field. Well, the quarterback does everything right except pitch the football. The defensive end's going to take him, which is great. That's what you want. But you got to get that ball out quicker to not allow that defensive end to make that play. And here comes the Colorado offense back out on the field. They came up empty in the last position, forced to punt it away. Can they begin to click now? And it's intercepted! They get him down after a short return, but the interception... Gets the football back to the offense at the 36. That offensive coordinator is going to have some choice words for his quarterback over the phone on the sideline after that throw. You have to be more careful with the football. Excellent field position here for the offense. They're moving the receiver now before the snap. They flip it to him on the jet sweep. And he's tackled for a loss after the catch. The defense all over that one. Trying to flex the ground game here. Running back takes the handoff. And they bring him down after a solid gain, but it's still well short of the first down mark. Solid gain in the running play. Third down now. Looking downfield. It's rising. Makes a quick catch. 
Touchdown, Utes. This quarterback on fire today. Boy, the timing here is essential between the quarterback and the receiver. you got to find that window between the linebackers. He does it, puts the ball right on the money, and then how about the speed after the catch by the receiver for the touchdown? Out, but instead takes a knee and will bring the football to the 25-yard line. Falls incomplete, broken up by the defender nicely that time. Here's the second down play. Boy, this quarterback is really rolling the dice out here today. Remember, he threw an interception the last time they had the ball. I thought he might learn from that, but instead he comes out throwing it into coverage again. Somehow catches a break on this tip ball that this one was an interception. He better tighten up his decision making. He's going to cost himself a game. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. And the Buffaloes will line up to punt it away. Well, a lot of times as a play caller, you go to the draw play because you feel the defensive front is just consumed with trying to get pressure on the quarterback. They go with the draw, but the defense is completely locked in. Does a nice job of showing discipline to completely negate the play. He'll hand it off. Breaks loose at the 45. Tackle finally made, but it's a huge gain. They'll spot it at the 34. This really affects the team's mental psyche and their confidence, and they'll start to see some missed tackles following a play like this. On first down, why not keep it on the ground? They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Offense getting set. Second down play here. They'll hand it off. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. Looks like a player is down injured at that last play. We'll take a timeout while they check it out. Backed up here, trying to make something happen on third and long. Dropping back. They're going to throw for the first down. Pulls it in. It's Parks. And they pick up the first down of the 23, getting closer to the red zone. The Utes churn out another first down. The defense spreads all over the field playing zone, trying to make this quarterback make a mistake by throwing it into coverage. But he finds a soft spot on the curl and picks up a first down. And completion makes it second and short. Defense is all around the country. have got to do a better job of keeping an eye on these little guys from the slot. They can dismantle a defense with their speed and quickness in the open space. They bring him down after a gain. Looks like they'll spot it inches short of a first down. Can he make it to the marker? Take it down, but not before he makes the first down. The Utes come to the line to set a fresh set of downs. They'll run the option. Here's a fumble way behind the line of scrimmage. The defense recovers the fumble. I get being upset at the ball care for coughing up the ball, but let's not ignore how big of a hit that was. Sometimes you just have to give credit to the defender for making a great play. And the Colorado offense is back out on the field. This group is coming off a quick three and out. Can they put something together in this drive? The offense with some pre-snap motion. They're going to run it. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. And the Buffaloes come to the line looking to crank up the tempo. I mean, Chris, you have to admire this offense. They continue to try to sprinkle in the run game, even though it's not been able to really get established. But they're not just becoming one-dimensional. you got to respect that, and hopefully at some point it'll pay off. Back to throw. It's Sanders. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. He stopped short of the marker, so it's fourth down now. The Buffaloes will line up to punt it away. On third downs like this, you can only allow completions in front of you as long as you can protect the sticks. And that's what the defense did here. They knew where the sticks were, and they were able to make the tackle short of the line. Coverage team brings down the returner, and the Utah offense takes the field. They're looking to protect the lead and protect the football. The last possession, remember, ended in the fumble. 
They make the stop, but not before a solid game that time. There's a first and ten play. Movement here from the tight end. It's a quarterback keeper. He's found some room at the 45. Big game. Moves the ball into enemy territory. They'll spot it down near the 31. Man, is he pretty to watch run this option. He is so dangerous with the threat to run or to throw. This time he keeps it himself, and you can see how much ground he eats up with that kind of speed. It's a two-yard game. Second and eight coming up. And remember, the last time these teams met, it came right down to the wire. Well, Chris, there's so many great rivalry games that we all look forward to every single year. But with these two teams, it just always seems to be a tight matchup. He stopped just short of that first down marker, inches away from it. So now it's third and short from the 21 as this defense tries to make a stand and force a field goal attempt or a fourth down stop. Caught behind the line. It's Keithy. Well executed. He finds space and gets the first down yardage. And the Utes looking to take advantage of this red zone trip. How many first downs is that on this drive? This defense allows one or two more drives like this, and they're going to be gassed by the third quarter. Been a decent gain there before the defense brings him down. So down here in the red zone, every yard tough to find. Here is a crucial play coming up. Offense will keep it on the ground here. And he'll be smothered right at the line for no gain. So here we go. Third down in the red zone. The kind of play that decides football games. Handoff here from the shotgun. Brought down, but it's past the line to gain. And the Utes line it up with first and goal. Tight end goes in motion before the snap. Here's the handoff on first and goal. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Utah. Well, that's an example right there of what vision and patience and ability can do for running back. He was on a mission to get into the end zone, and really, he made it look easy. But out the back of the end zone for a touchback. First down here for this offense. Scanning the field, it's Sanders. Looks to the left, and it's complete. Defense reacts quickly, a very short gain on the play. Offense coming to the line. They might have a chance for a couple more plays before we reach the end of the quarter. They look to throw it here on second down. It's a screen pass complete to the running back. Tackle after a solid gain. It's enough for a first down, and that should wrap up the first quarter of play. And as we flip the field and begin quarter number two, we'll see if they can continue to build this lead. It's a run. Running back's got it. Makes a nice move there. They get him down, but the junior with an excellent run there. And the Buffaloes hustle to the line to run the hurry up. Off the play fake, looking to throw on first down. Oh, and he dropped it. Very uncharacteristic play by this wide receiver. Second down. Well, Kirk, you played in rivalry games. No shortage of inspiration, but how do you manage the emotion of it all? Well, I think you need great leadership from the team. Sometimes teams don't handle the emotions of it, and the game can get sideways on you. The teams that play the best in rivalry games are the teams that have the best leaders that keep them focused on the task at hand. So the drive stalls, and here comes the punting team. Hey, the good news is here, Chris, they're still in field goal range, and they didn't cost themselves any points. But they could have more. They've got to be thinking about going for this on fourth and short. And the Utah offense takes the field. The last drive, the ground game, was so successful. Ended in a touchdown. We'll see if the defense can respond to it this time. And he's brought down after a short gain does not make the first down yardage. One back in the backfield, and he'll get the carry. They tackle him about the 14. And this crowd coming to life here, trying to help the defense get a stop. The offense pinned back. Looking to throw. It's rising. And he just throws that one away. Took a big shot, but avoids the sack. 
the Utes will have to kick it away. Man, on your own side of the field, you're playing a risky game here, third and short. Your goal should just be keep this drive alive the best way you can sometimes is just hand the ball off to your running back and have him get behind that offensive line and go to work. Curious to see what they do now here on this fourth and short. Off the play fake, looking to throw. Let's it fly to the wideout. Makes the catch downfield. This offense has gotten going at long last. It's another first and ten. What a pitch and catch by the quarterback and receiver for a big gain for this offense. When they try the middle, but stuck for no gain. The offense right to the line, playing with tempo now. Tell you, this defense continues to just be physical at the line of scrimmage. Offense can't do anything on the ground, and by doing that, this defense is allowing their defensive front to get pressure on the quarterback. Every time they drop back the throw, they become a one-dimensional offense. And the Buffaloes come to the line with first and goal. A pop pass on the jet sweep. And the defense wraps him up. Second and goal play. Spot the ball at the nine. Tailback tests the middle of the defense. Nice job by this defense on that second down. So we now have third down and goal. The offense could be thinking about four down situation. They need to put the ball into the end zone. They don't want to settle for a field goal here. And it's incomplete in the back corner of the end zone. So on fourth down now, out comes the field goal unit. So from the left hash, this is just a chip shot. And he knocks it right through the uprights. And the Utes offense takes the field. They're coming off a quick three and out. So looking to put something together on this drive with a little more urgency. They'll tackle him right at the 25-yard line. Important second down play coming up. Chris, it's the consistency of this back is giving this defense fits. They've got to come up with some changes up front. This guy's already over 50 yards, and if he keeps running the way he is, not only is he having a great day, but it's going to give this quarterback a chance to hit some big plays downfield off play action. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Second down play coming up for this offense. They go with the ground game here. Running back takes the handoff. He's brought down, but not before getting into enemy territory at the plus 47. The Utes looking to keep this drive rolling. They'll try the ground game here with the running back. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. Dropping back. It's rising. Looking light. This one caught. They bring down the receiver, but that's a nice gain on that play. Offense gets set up here. It's third down. And the quarterback keeps it on the option. He's tackled inside the 35 and picks up a first down. And the Utes starting a new series here on first and 10. Motion now from the tight end. And from the shotgun, an inside handoff. The gain is three. Now it's second down and seven. Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. Football comes out. Looks like the defense has it. Well, that's why you do ball security drills almost every single day in practice. You just can't put the ball on the turf like that. But give credit to the defender for the hit, because that's what caused the fumble. And the Buffalo's offense is back out there on the field. Tough to win these games kicking field goals. They know they need to reach the end zone this time. They tackle him. Looks like it's going to be just short of the mark, inches away. The Buffaloes will come to the line to run the hurry up. Boy, positive yards there on first and ten. Good job up front by that offensive line. Good hard running by this running back. And now you got a lot of options. That playbook can really open up on second and inches. The guys up front lined up. It's first down. And the single back takes the handoff. 
know, in the era that we live in right now, everybody wants to spread the field around, try to create space, try to create one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the defense has countered over the years by trying to play out wide. But here's a great example of a defense has the ability to play wide, but still be solid at the line of scrimmage, not give up big run plays. Fresh set of downs for the offense, first down. Off the play fake, looking to throw. And here comes a deep shot. This one is broken up and falls incomplete. Offense getting set. It's second down. Well, Chris, the offense takes a shot downfield, and this defender does a great job of making a play on the ball. Not only that, he tips that ball up into the air. Good chance for the defense to come up with an interception there. Off the play fade, looking to throw the football. Defense is coming after him. Just throws it away, but takes a big hit in the process. And the coach elects to send out the field goal unit. He was on the mark with his last kick, but this one is from 50 yards away. He missed it. Missed opportunity to make this a one-score game. And the Utah offense takes the field. They got into plus territory last time, but the drive ended on a fumble. They got to shake that off immediately. They'll run it to the left. Gets the first and still running. Oh, and nothing but green grass ahead. Brought down at the 18, and suddenly this offense is in the red zone. Man, this guy can fly. He gets one crease in the defense, and phew, he is gone. This guy is as fast as there is in the game. He's looking to jam the receivers at the snap. And the Utes are in the red zone. From inside the red zone, they're looking to throw. Grab down the middle. It's Parks. And they've got him down at the three. Big gain in that completion. First and goal for the offense. This offense is clicking, and clearly, everything seems to be working. Coordinator is calling good plays. The quarterback and the rest of his receivers and running backs are executing. And frankly, this defense is showing almost no resistance. And the motion by the back now forces the defense to adjust. That's a great play all around by this defense. Their first level defenders hold their own at the point of attack, allowing the second and third level players to roam free and make the tackle close to the line of scrimmage. Third and goal, try to make it on the ground. And he runs it into the end zone. Touchdown, Utes. 15, that's where the offense will take over. And the Colorado offense is back out on the field. No doubt the last drive was deflating. They had to settle for a field goal attempt, but missed it. To get him down quickly, not much of a gain on that completion. And the Buffaloes looking to run some tempo here. Boy, that's pretty good coverage here by this defense. Not much of a window to throw this ball into, but the quarterback's accuracy and the size of the tight end picks up a nice game. They punted four times already on the verge of a fifth, but they can't convert this third down. Makes the grab. It's Hunter. And he will make the first down. Tackled at the 26. And the Buffaloes come to the line to start a fresh set of downs. Well, it's third down. The defense knows he's going to get the ball. You still can't stop the quarterback finding this receiver to be able to pick up another first down for this offense. Getting set. Here's second down. Got him. He's sacked. A really good job by this defense. The quarterback looked to be trying to work through his progressions to find his open receiver, but before he knew it, he's on his back. The offense now facing a third and long from the 26. Got to avoid a mistake here. Looking to pass. It's Sanders. And that's incomplete. They weren't afraid to let it fly, but it brings up a fourth down. The Buffaloes will line up to punt it away. Well, he just threw it away here, Chris, and it's not the worst decision. You'd wish he'd find a guy open to give him a chance for this offense to convert, but at least they have some room now to work if they want to bring the punter out. The shotgun running play call. 
And the run moves the ball up to the 33. Second down here. Time for one more play before the two-minute warning. Looks right for a quick completion. Tackle is made just a short gain after the completion. They're going to throw for it on third and short. Caught over the middle. It's Parks. The Utes pick up enough yardage for a first down. A new set of downs after that completion. On first and ten, they'll look to throw it. And that pass is hauled in over the middle. This is an example of a quarterback and his offense just taking what the defense gives you. Not a huge play, but positive yards. The defense wants to give that throw to you. You take it, get the ball to your receiver, stay ahead of the sticks. After the incompletion, they'll line up now for a third and five. Looking to chuck it again. Grab down the middle. It's Keefe. Brought down quickly, but it's a big game through the air. Spot the ball at the 45. First down, looking to throw the football. Receiver makes the grab. And the defense swarms not much of a gain on that completion. Now it's second down here. Caught over the middle. It's Keefe. They get him down, but not before he moves the football to the 32. Offense keeps moving. It's a completion for a first down. Quarterback sets up, looking for an open man. Physical defending. That one falls incomplete. Brings up second down. Back to throw. It's rising. Looking for his big tight end. Oh, the pass is picked off. Not a long return, but the important thing that pick wipes out a scoring threat. The offense will take over from the 29. Well, a mistake by the quarterback of putting that up in the air, but a great play by the free safety. You know, you sit back and cover three. The center fielder is the free safety. He's got his eyes on the quarterback, and when that ball is released, he's got to show an athletic ability to be able to go find the football and come down with it for an interception. And here comes the Colorado offense back out on the field. Let's see what they do here in the final minute of the half. Try to get aggressive and cut into this lead or play it safe. Breaks loose at the 40. And a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. Here comes a first down pass attempt. Catch made on the left side. Gets some space around the 30. Heads out of bounds after a solid game, more than enough to pick up a first down. Chris, all week they heard about how fast this guy is. The defensive coordinator told them they watched the film. They've seen this guy a lot. But I think the reality of seeing it now in person, I think it surprised them. They've got to make some adjustments to their defense. Or this guy and his speed will continue to have a field day. And the QB will try again on second and 10. That's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact. No flag brings up third down. Not going to be easy here. Backed up a long way to go for a first down. Drops back, looking to throw for it on third down. This one's going to fall incomplete. Brings up fourth down. So now on comes the field goal unit. Oh, I like the call here. Third down and long. You know they're going to apply pressure. The screen game almost works. Meadows going to wrap up the first half here. Let's kick it now to Kevin Connors with our halftime update. Thanks so much, guys. And I need not tell you... Rivalry games always bring out a ton of emotion. And no surprise, we saw just that in the first half today. And it's been said football is a game of inches. And guess what? Based on the comparison between third down conversion rate today and the average yard per play, how can you argue that? I mean, the low-lying fruit is to look at some of the explosive plays we've seen in panic. But really, this game is going to come down to which team is more efficient when they have the ball and how they play when it matters most. And the return are brought down by that coverage team. And the Utah offense takes the field. With that, let's throw it back to the guys to see how this rivalry matchup plays out. Opening play of the drive, he looks right for a completion. He has first down yardage at the 46. He's just playing his best game. He's been in sync with his receivers. Back there, has time to throw. Just having a dream performance. One play already to the 46-yard line. It'll be first down. Oh, 
Oh, nice play by the defender. Got a hand in there to break up the pass. So after the incompletion, it's second down. But Chris, I can tell you as a quarterback, there's nothing more frustrating than a big defense lineman who's good at swatting the ball. Because if they don't do it, oftentimes you got an open receiver and a completion. Back to pass. It's rising. That one is incomplete. The defender was right there, and it brings up fourth down now. The Utes will send the punt team onto the field. Chris, I just wonder how many times can this defense keep making plays to keep this team in this football game? They're just not getting a lot of help from their own offense. A nice job again stepping up on this third down. Interesting call here on fourth down to see if they'll get a chance to make another play to give their own offense good field position. He's brought down, but not before the game to the 42-yard line. And the Buffaloes come to the line in the hurry up. Offense moving receivers around now before the snap. Ball handed off. Catch made, but the defense gobbles him up for just a short game. Third down. The offense desperately needs a conversion here, trailing in the third quarter. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. Can't hold on. Good defensive play. Brings up a fourth down. And the Buffaloes will have to punt this one away. Oof. The risk of throwing on third and short. Lots of second guessing going over on that sideline about that play call. You got to wonder if they're going to go for it anyway on fourth down. But what will be the play call? And the Utes offense takes the field. They're trying to build on their lead. They were forced to punt on the last possession. First play of the drive, they come out throwing. It's a short completion of the big tight end. Them have to be aware of everybody and allows you to continue to spread the ball around and spread the field, making it tougher for this defense. It's second down after that completion. Off play action, he's looking to throw. Let's it go quickly. It's caught downfield. That is a huge play. Finally brought down at the 46-yard line. The defense is spread all over the field, creating some one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the quarterback makes them pay for it. They'll hand it off. The defense all over it. They stop him right at the line. Second down after that previous play. He has been a game record today for this defense, taking advantage of this big stage. And Chris, when we sat down with him in our production meeting, he didn't have a lot to say. He was very focused on what he needed to do. Just had a feeling he might step up and have a big game. One man at the backfield, and he'll get the football. Oh, and he fumbles. Defense grabs the football. It's a turnover. This offense just blew an opportunity. Have a nice lead here in the second half with the football. The last thing you want to do is turn it over, and they put the ball on the ground, and now give your opponent a chance to get right back in this game. And the Colorado offense is back out on the field. They were held to a quick three and out last time, looking to put together a positive drive here. The shotgun handoff here. Solid run, tackled at the 45-yard line. Offense right to the line, cranking up the tempo. Quarterback will throw it off the one-pass option. And he'll get the first down yards before they finally bring him down. The Buffaloes hustle to the line to run the hurry up. Play action here on first down. And he's going to stretch the defense, taking a deep shot here. Touchdown, Buffaloes. Strong game by this quarterback. Looked like a total bust there. Easy pitch and catch like you'd see in a Tuesday practice. Yeah, that quarterback's eyes must have lit up on that play because you've got one of your players way downfield without any defender around him. Solid coverage. And the Utah offense takes the field, looking to protect the football and protect the lead. They fumbled it away last time. Eludes a tackle. And he breaks the tackle on the way to a solid gain there. Second down after that run on the previous play. I know this defense worked very hard at halftime to come up with answers on how to try to slow down this running back after the big first half. 
And he's already at it again. Defense wraps him up after the catch, but he's just short of the first down. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw it. Caught in the backfield, it's Ryan. Moves his way for a first down to the 35. And the Utes come to the line to start a fresh set of downs. Boy, this offensive line, you got to tip your cap. They've done everything you would ask of them in taking care of this quarterback. They do it again here on third down, working with that lead. You know the pressure's coming, and they deliver. Oh, well, then check him out. A completion makes it second down. Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. If I success the formation, it's third down. This running back's had a big night, kind of night you dream about, but the defense finally steps up and gets to him behind the line of scrimmage. Has the first down and more. They've got him at the 48, but that's a first down. And the Utes look to keep this drive moving. That puts him over 150 yards today. Kirk, we knew he was going to be a focus coming in, but he has backed up the hype and then some. Yeah, he sure has, Chris. I mean, all year long, he's been a dynamic playmaker. I'd argue one of the top in the entire country. And now, in a rivalry game, to be able to do this, boy, it says a lot about it. They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. So the offense getting set. This is not where you want to be against this defense. Third and long. Grab near the sticks. It's Parks. Brought down at the 40. That'll be a first down. A new set of downs after that completion. Well, this quarterback is unflappable. Here they are working with the lead in the second half. Get to a third down. you got to throw the football. This is where you trust the quarterback to make a good decision, an accurate throw. He does it. You convert, and you keep working that clock. And the running back takes the handoff. Defense gets him down, but they'll take the gain on that play. And the long drive continues. The offense just grinding away here. They'll try to move the chains here on the ground. Brought down to the 27. It's a first down. This offense really threatening now. Defense digging deep here. It's plane number 12 on this drive for the offense. And here's the handoff. Picks up the first, looking for more. Juked one tackler and picks up first down yardage. The Utes are going to cash in this red zone trip. Back now goes in motion. Defense will have to adjust. Tackle down at the three-yard line after an excellent run. The offense sets up in scoring position with a new set of downs. On first down, it's play action. Looking for six. Oh, and it's batted down by the defense. Great play to deny a touchdown. It's a second in goal play for the offense. Chris, that ball's tipped up into the air, and it's any... And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, Utah. Well, the energy really building now, Kirk. If they're not careful, this could get ugly. First down play call. How aggressive will it be? First play of the drive, he looks left for a completion. Tackle made after a nice pickup on the play. And the Buffaloes come to the line in the hurry up. Off the play fake on first down. Looking for the wide out. Grab down the middle. It's Hunter. Big gain across midfield down near the 30 yard line. The offense operating at peak efficiency. They come to the line again. To the air, it's Sanders. Pressure is coming. Contact as he threw it. Quarterback delivers complete to the right side. He's brought down at the six. The offense will have first and goal right there. Pre-snap motion from the offense. Quick pass, here comes a jet sweep. And he scores. Touchdown, Colorado. P4, good coverage. And the Utah offense takes the field. This game has suddenly gotten more interesting, so this offense needs to be productive here. He's going to hand this off. Has the first down still on the move. 
He tackled him at the 38. Solid gain. Nice play there. This line getting set up. It's a first down play. And Kirk, that puts him over 150 yards today. He just put on a huge show on a big stage. Down he goes. A sack. Well, you got to do a better job with your fake as the quarterback. We'll see if they can overcome the sack. Second and very long. There's some pre-snap movement. Back in motion. They're going to run it here. And the senior able to make the stop after a short game. Crucial third down play coming up. Dropping back. It's rising. Incomplete. But yeah, here comes a penalty marker now. That should be a drive extending first down. Man, playing defensive back has got to be the toughest job out there right now in college football. You get isolated on islands against these freaky, talented receivers. It's hard enough to be able to stay up with them and try to make a play on the ball, and often you end up bumping them downfield and you get a call like this. Offense lines up for a second down play off the incompletion. There's the snap. Looking to throw the ball. Catch hauled in here over the middle. And that gained enough for a fresh set of downs spotted at the 48. The Utes pick up enough yardage to move the sticks. And the defense sits back in a zone coverage. Good job here by the quarterback recognizing that soft coverage, and he hits the routine drag route underneath for a first down. And it's incomplete even in a first down throw. He was under some heavy pressure. But the gain is just one yard. Sets up a third and nine now. They come to the line, a long way to go for the first down, but needing this crucial conversion right now. And he'll drop back here on third down. Gets made on the out route. One quarter to go. Let's see if this sets up as a classic finish. And the Utes with first and ten here. Pre-snap motion from the receiver. Looking to throw it on first down. And a short pitch and catch to the tight end. But a huge collision. A blow delivered there by the linebacker. Second down after that short completion. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. And they'll stop him short of the line to gain. This defense just cannot get off the field. The long march moves on. Keeping it on the ground here. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. So on fourth down, here comes a crucial field goal attempt. Well, there's that excellent linebacker with a clear path just running downhill quickly. Here is his vision. It, he just has a great, and the result is a tackle for a loss for the backer. So first and ten for the offense after a costly fourth down penalty on the defense. Here's the handoff. They stop him after a six-yard gain, so second and four. And the Utes looking to take advantage of this red zone trip. Boy, is this guy fun to watch or what? Here we are in the fourth quarter, critical down in distances, and this guy is just churning out yards the way he has most of this game, showing a lot of physicality and natural running instincts in space. Drops back, needing a foot, and he'll loft it to the end. And it's intercepted, a crushing play. Come up with a way to cut into this lead. And the Buffalo's offense is back out there on the field. They start the drive with a quick throw to the right side. Defense surrounds him. Just a short gain on that completion. And the Buffaloes come to the line to run the hurry up. It's a nice completion there, Chris. And this possession at this point in the game is critical for them. They've got to focus on putting points on the board right now to make this a one-possession game. Defense reacts quickly, a very short gain on the play. Here comes the up-tempo offense. Looking downfield, it's Sanders. Receiver makes the catch. But right there, that's where they start the drive. And the Utes offense takes the field. Forced to punt last time, trying to add points, build the lead right here. And that pass rush has trapped him. It's a sack. Offense will try to recover now. It's second and 12.
and they'll keep it on the ground. Running back has the handoff. Game moves the ball out past the 25-yard line. The offense now facing a third and long from the 26. Got to avoid a mistake here. Dropping back. They're going to throw for the first down. They give the running back a touch in the pass game. Catch made over the middle. Tackle made at the 41. It's a nice game. They're getting closer to the 50. Oh, that one really hurts for this defense. They get these guys the third down, a chance to maybe get them off the field, and they give up a first down late in the game. The clock will continue to roll. Looks like a man is down on the field after the last play, so we'll take a timeout. Second down play coming up. Hand off to the single back. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Now from the 40, the offense faces a third and long to keep this drive going. Scanning the field. It's rising. Makes a quick grab. He's not going to get the first down. And the Colorado offense is back out on the field. Quick throw by the quarterback off the RPO. And the Buffaloes will hustle to the line here to run the hurry up. This is all you can hope for, really. The defense does their job. You get the offense back out on the field. It's a one-possession game. It's up to this quarterback and this offense to deliver, and they're off to a good start here. See what the call is on first and 10. And they'll run it with the draw play. They stop him with a 47, but that's enough for a first down. The Buffaloes come to the line to set a fresh set of downs. First and ten, looking to throw. It's an out route, the catch made. To get him down quickly, not much of a gain on that completion. No huddle now for the offense. Quarterback looks to his right and finds his man. And the defense swarms, not much of a gain on that completion. Can they keep this drive going, try to convert on third down now? Dropping back. They're going to throw for the first down. And the defender gets a hand in there to break the pass up. And the Utes will send their punt team onto the field. Hey, I understand the aggressive approach here on third down and long, trying to pick up the first down, but look at the scoreboard. You've got the lead in the fourth quarter. Smart play would have been to keep running the football, work the clock, force them to use their timeouts. Now at fourth down and long with the lead, tough decision here. I think you got to punt it away. That one falls incomplete. Good defensive play. Brings up second down. Looking to pass. It's Sanders. Fires it to the wide out. Finds a man downfield. That's a big game to the right. Explosive play. And the offense will set up now inside the 30-yard line. And that completion, Kirk, puts him over 300 yards passing today. Yeah, anytime a quarterback has a day like this, really, it all has to come together with the offensive line play, the receivers running these great routes, and he's just in sync. He's kind of in that zone right now, and he'll be the first one to tell you how much his teammates have helped him out today. Defense stops him, but that's a solid game. And the Buffaloes come up to the line in the hurry up. Gives it to the back. And the sophomore able to bring him down quickly. We reach the two-minute warning now. Can this offense come away with a late comeback victory? On third and short, there's the tackle, but first down yardage. The Buffalo is looking to cash in this red zone trip. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. All the way to the end zone. Touchdown, Buffs. So it comes down to this, late in the game, a two-point conversion to tie this up and potentially force overtime. And he'll set up to throw. And he runs it into the end zone. The two-point try makes this a tie game. Nobody open. Excellent coverage. After the incompletion, they'll line up now for a third and five. Looking to throw. It's rising. Looks downfield and connects with a wide open wide receiver. They've got him, but not before making first down yards. They'll move the ball to the 41. Here's the snap, looking to throw. And it's complete downfield. And a big gain across midfield moves the ball inside the enemy 40-yard line. And a timeout is called. 
late in this tie game. Crucial choices coming up. On first and ten here, looking to throw the ball. Oh, it's intercepted. A critical late mistake here. Not much on the return, but that's an important takeaway. Sets up the offense at the 34. Oh, Chris, you're in the fourth quarter. It's a tie game, and you throw an interception. Oh, my goodness. I know it's obvious, but you just got to take care of the football. It's that simple. And here comes the Colorado offense back out on the field. Here we go. One last chance for this offense to score and win it in regulation. Delivers from the pocket, complete over the middle. Tackle made after the completion. The clock is still running. they got to get set quickly. Looking to pass here on second down. Oh, and it's intercepted. Terrible mistake late in the game. Look out. He's got some space. And he's going to score on the pick six. Touchdown, Utes. What a play here by the defense. We kept thinking this defense might have to come up with a stop to give the ball back to their own offense to see if they can maybe take the lead. But instead, they take matters into their own hands and come up with a turnover and a touchdown. Colorado offense is back out on the field. So here we go. They need a touchdown. Got a little time to work with. How will they play this situation? And he can't quite hold on to it. That would have sealed this game. It's second down now. Kibi tries it again here on second and ten. Pass ball is incomplete. There was a lot of contact. No penalty. Brings up third down. To throw. It's Sanders. Bringing pressure. But just gives up on the play. Throws it away. And now it's fourth down. Down by seven. They've got to convert here for a chance to tie this game. And he's throwing for it on fourth down. And the clock winding down. They'll take a deep shot. And that deep shot is caught for a big game. Takes it all the way to the house. Touchdown, Buffalo. Chris, I'm shocked by this. I mean, this is a great touchdown by this offense. They're an extra point away from tying this game up. We may be headed to overtime. So here comes our first play of overtime. The back's got it. Defense has got the football. That is tough for the ball carrier here because not only does he take a big hit, but now you're about to get an earful from your coach on the sideline after that turnover. So here we go. This defense needing to come up with something special here. Make a play to keep hope alive in this game. Keep it on the ground. There's the handoff. And that's a solid game before the defense is able to bring him down. And here comes the noise. This crowd is trying to inspire this defense to make a big red zone stop. He'll hand it off. Tackle, but first down. And the offense gifted with great starting field position for this drive. And now the handoff. And the ball to the ground. Fumble recovered by the defense going the other way. Man, Chris, we can hear the contact from that hit all the way up here in the booth. So, hey, it's easy to blame the ball carrier, but I don't know if anybody could have been able to hold on to the ball after that hit. They'll run it here. They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. And the player is down injured after that last play. We'll take a timeout while they check him out. Here's the second down play. Back to pass. It's rising. And the pass is complete to the tight end. Tackle finally made. That's a very solid gain, but not close to first down yardage yet. On third down, he drops to throw. 
Chris, the more we watch these spread offenses attack in today's game, it's not just about the vertical shots with the taller receivers on the outside. Defenses are challenged even more by those smaller slot receivers and their quickness in space. So the offense now will set up first and goal here in double overtime. Quarterback drops back. We're going to test the secondary. And it's the senior getting home with the sack. Well, that's a big sack by this defense here on first down. Now the offense still has opportunities to rectify this situation. But it's not the best way to start a first and goal situation. So the ball moved back to the 12 for second and goal. From the shotgun, drops back. That one falls incomplete. Looking for a flag, doesn't get it. Brings up third down. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out the punishment, but here, he's the one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, he's unable to hold on to the football. Let's see what the call is on this critical third and goal. He tried to punch it in in overtime. Third and goal, looking to throw for it. It's a touchdown as they jump on top here in overtime. So they score the touchdown. Now by rule, they must go for two here in second overtime. Dropping back. It's rising. He did not get in. They stopped him, and the lead remains at six here in overtime. So pressure on this offense. They must answer with a touchdown to stay in this game. And looking to throw now on first down. And he's got it. The game moves the football to the six-yard line. It'll be first down and goal. So needing to reach the end zone to keep this game alive, it's first and goal now. And it's incomplete. The defender arrived the same time as the football, and now it's second down. Here's the snap. Offense looking to throw the ball. And he finds his tight end for the catch. Tackled at the six-yard line after the completion. Offense really threatening now. Trying to throw for it on third and goal. Looking to the end zone. And he gets into the end zone for a touchdown to tie the game here. Now a two-point try to win the game. Well, they did the tough part here by coming up with this touchdown. The game is tied. Now, of course, the rule in that second overtime, you got to go for two. Let's see what their favorite two-point play is and see if they can win it. So it all comes down to this. If they make their two-point try, it's game over. Chance to win it right now. Direct snap to the back. No, he didn't get in. The defense makes a stand. They stop him, and now we're headed to triple overtime. Okay, so now we've got dueling two-point conversions from here on out to decide this game. Enormous pressure on every snap. And they're trying to punch it in here. No, no, he is stopped short. They cannot execute the crucial two-point play. So the defense does the job, and now this offense comes out for a two-point try to win the game right here. Receiver in motion now, dropping back. It's rising. And he gets in there to win the game. An overtime classic. Wow. Now, this is a tough one. And you get it to overtime. You come up short. It's a heartbreaker. They'll have to pick up the pieces after this one. 
Yeah, I think we both thought that this game was going to be really close, but I don't know if we would have been able to guess that it was going to be this close. They were so evenly matched, and it just came down to those few plays at the end that really decided it. And that is going to wrap it up. We enjoyed this one here. For Kirk Herbstreet, I'm Chris Fowler, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.